happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the Sanjin. This is the SG-108. It's an AM, FM, HD portable radio, and I'm going to form a daytime medium wave band scan with it. We're going to go over features of the radio, we're going to do a size comparison, and we'll start cruising the daytime band. So let's look at the radio. This is Sanjin's SG-108. It is identical to the HDR-14 in black. So the only difference is this is white and a new model number. So that's, you can expect the same performance. Left-hand side for features, we have a volume control, nice analog style. Headphone jack for the FM, stereo, and HD experience. DC input jack, it comes with the AC adapter, which is nice. Speaker grill here is kind of a matte finish, and there's a two-inch speaker approximately behind there. Our display is really cool. It's like a dot matrix style, two line. We got date showing and time showing when it's off. Power button, of course, low battery with a red LED indicator. Buttons, we got a band select for AM and FM. You have your info, and then you have your menu button. You have HD Seek, which is nice, and you have the uh, APS feature, which is auto preset system. Here you have an enter key and page function. This has five preset keys, and the pages. I believe you have four pages on each band, giving a total of 20 presets on the AM and 20 presets on the FM. Seeking forward, seeking down, and of course, stepping up and stepping down. A nice little amber backlight there. Nice. Right hand side, we got a lock switch, so we can lock this radio up. So we carry it, key locked on, and then off. Okay, cool. Top of the radio, we got the antenna. This antenna is 25 inches, uh, it does a fairly good job. I live in a rural area, so FM HD is pretty difficult, but FM normal broadcast is fine. On the back here, you can see some of the band coverage here. And then down here, of course, we can do 9K or 10K on the medium wave. Beautiful. And it runs on three AA batteries. I think right now we have some elk lines installed. Yeah, this radio does not charge the batteries, so you have to charge them on your own if you got rechargeables. So there you are. Cool hinge door. I like that. Smooth. And on the bottom, you got this cool swivel base to make it very stable when you have it standing up. I like this. You can't knock it over. Maybe, yeah, not even forward. So they get the balance to the back, which is nice. So let's do a little size comparison. Bring this tripod up here so you guys can see this. All right. So I usually bring out the usual culprits. To my left here, I have a CC Pocket in the house, AM FM weather band radio. So you can see for portability, it's not HD, but uh, yeah, there you are. Yeah, the HD experience is pretty cool. I do enjoy the extra programming. That's what really is big about it. The quality may uh, suffer a little bit when they have the extra channels, but it's good if it's like sports casting or uh, chat, you know, talk radio. So that works out really well for HD. So here we are. Here's our SkyWave. SkyWave is about as big as this uh, HD, uh, not HDR SG-108 or HDR-14. It's the same radio, it's just white. Um, this gives you an idea. It's about the same size as a SkyWave. Pretty cool. And of course, last, not, last but not least, we have a deck of cards I usually bring out here. Here we go. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. He loves Sanjins from China Land. He's Iron Man. Tune it, man. <laughs> All right, it's fun. Okay, so we're going to lower this down. Now I'm going to have a passive loop to my left. Um, if you're familiar with medium wave, most of my viewers are familiar and they're watching this band scan. Just want to see how this performs. There's an internal antenna uh, that the medium wave uses or the AM band uses. Um, it's not the external antenna. Some people don't know that, so I have to say that in every video. Um, the internal ferrite bar is usually horizontally uh, orientated with the top of the radio. And the interesting thing about it is you turn the radio towards the station it's broadcasting from. So if my station is broadcasting in the southwest here, I'll point it in that direction to pick it up. If it's broadcasting to the north, I'll turn it this way to the north and get better signal. And you'll get to see that as I tune. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And like I said, the passive loop it's pretty nice, doesn't need batteries, helps boost the gain. I'm going to use this Turk Advantage. I'll have it off the table to my left so it doesn't interfere. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Go ahead and 
Got our volume control on the side here. Let's go ahead and start at the bottom. Now, I went through the AM band, there's no HD channels, which is unfortunate. Um, they've got their things turned off. Clock, 11.03. Okay, I should tell you that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, do that real quick. Um, it's 11.03 a.m. Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois. You saw the date. Um, sunrise was around 5.30 in the morning, so we're about five and a half hours into the day. So it's we're going to get daytime stations. Um, so yeah, 11.04, and of course, yeah, near Chicago, Illinois, USA. This is 5.40 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. And if you notice... I turn at the signal changes. So let's go to the signal strength. Here's our calendar. It's August 10th. It's not in stereo. This is our signal strength indicator. That's usually where you get the HD, that threshold point. We turn it. You see it's very accurate. Turn it back. And let's see if we can boost it with the passive loop. I know I'm spending time here, but it's a cool demonstration. So there you go. Pretty cool. It made a difference. All right. Need to see that visually. <laughs> Commercial 560 WIMD, the answer, Chicago. Okay, that signal is almost pegged. Very nice. Look at the different segments. It's awesome. Quite a bit of resolution on that. All this week, Stinchfield details calls for new lockdowns, more masks, and even vaccination. So this is 580 WILL, Urbana, Illinois. That's 150 miles away. NPR station. The volume's all the way up right now. I'm going to bring a loop in. See if we can't get some more volume out of it. There we go. bit of noise there. This is usually a 590 WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Let's see if we get anything legible. I'm wondering if we do. Let's check it out. These are the stations I want to use a loop on. There we go. I think we can eliminate a little bit of that. There we are. So I can get this volume. This volume is like recessed, so it's kind of hard to adjust. As good as I'm going to get it. It's about 140 miles. Can we keep going? not done in two years time that is preparing for a preseason game the preseason of course axed in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic 620 Packers preseason opener is Saturday. Uh, WTMJ Milwaukee Wisconsin as you can see the signal jumps up if I turn it away from the north it should drop a bit today coverage of game one of that double header on WTMJ starts at 12 35 I really like the compact size of this radio. It's, it's awesome. It's 
Hispanic Music on 640 WMFN, Pietone, Illinois. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how far away that is, but uh, it's a pretty good indication this is doing well. Okay, let's keep going. First preseason game. I mean, the, the real question I have, going back to Justin Fields, is how many reps is he going to get? And he's going to be getting those reps. Well, she had tone control. That's one thing. It'd be nice. Um, this is 670, uh, the score to be a CR, Chicago. As you guys know, is those fourth and fifth string tackles are going against guys Full on bars. the other side who are trying to make a team, trying to make an impression. Like, any of them would love to get a sack in on Justin Fields. So they're going to have to kind of balance that as well uh, as they move forward. So I, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to be too surprised by how long Andy Dalton's out there. We have breaking news right now. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has announced he will resign. He does deny the allegations. That Here's WGN Chicago. 11 women and continues to do so, but he is resigning and his resignation, he says, will be effective in 14 days. We will continue to update you on this breaking news. So breaking news, you guys will probably, this will be ancient history when you see this band scan because these get released like sometimes a month or two after or more, depending. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've had band scans back six months sometimes. Um, hopefully I get it pretty recent, but that's pretty cool hearing breaking news. And here I thought the oh wow in that news was going to be feels like 108 degrees. That's what you think the THI is going to be. Some 50 WNDZ, Portage, Indiana. This is uh, probably not doable, but we'll try it. WGR, Detroit, Michigan. Just curious. Taking the passive loop, trying. Yep, nothing. Keep going. It now to the people of the state of New York. This comes amid sexual harassment allegations against. Here's 780 WBBM Chicago. Resigning. Stay with News Radio 780 105.9 FM and the Odyssey app, as well as CBS News. We will bring you the latest on this developing story. AccuWeather says we will have a heat advisory from noon until 7 tonight, with temperatures reaching 93 and humidity making... Warm day. <laughs> if he had simply done what, for example, Canada did, we would have saved 400,000... Here's WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois, about 40 miles away. He knew that the consequence would be the economy would go soft and Republicans... Oh, there we go. Okay, there's music here. I'm gonna see if I can't bring it in too. I'm spending a lot of time. Hopefully, I got enough time for this band scan. This is a a faint station, WNOV, out of uh, Milwaukee. I believe it's like a 400 watt station. So during the day, so let's go ahead and turn this up. Dang that volume. That's cool. Get the call letters. Here's 870. I'm not going to try. It's 200 miles away. WKR East Lansing. Yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> Why not? Get this passive loop. This is definitely a cool investment, especially for an HD radio, too. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Keep going. It's interesting because we start the show at, I don't know, what is it? Um, 890 WLS, Chicago. Chicago. Another cool feature would be like one killer, it's tuning, you know, but the, uh, you can't have everything, I guess. <laughs> Most people are going to use this on FM, but uh, it's got a decent AM tuner. 12.05 and 31 seconds. So I, I, I want to just talk about this because there's a lot of optimism. 
So we're going to hear a lot about that uh, governor going bye-bye. The Big Badger 920 WOKY in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You want to hear something amazing? Discover matches all the cash back you earn on your credit card. It's going to be a Nine thirty to be BKM, Sandwich, Illinois, Relevant Radio. Okay, this thing definitely needs a loop uh, during the day. Uh, it's a warm day, as you heard. It's high humidity. I don't know if that's affecting us. Shouldn't be, but this is nine forty W H W F A W. Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. There's music playing. This is, that signal strength is really accurate. I'm having fun uh, tuning the radio by turning it and watching that bar graph. It's pretty responsive. Um, 950 to be NTD, relevant radio, Chicago. So you can tell it's got a low tone to it, it's kind of a good for talk mainly. Uh, this is a 970 WHA in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm oh, showing HD. Interesting. I don't think we'll get it. I'll try. Let's see. The the things that get uh, people the most anxious is actually having to speak to give a talk. Absolutely, Larry. I think it's the number one. Yeah, we have to get that signal strength to pass that for the HD to come in. Having to speak in public, I certainly can appreciate. Even with the passive loop really giving us some serious uh, results, it's not enough. Okay. On sale now on ESPN Chicago FFC.com. ESPN Fantasy Expert. So here you go, ESPN WMVP Chicago. Can you guess sports? Sponsored by our friends at PropSwap.com. Music on 1030 WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. Rock on. Okay, there you go. Uh, it's 1050 WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Well, according to research, 82% of people remember radio. Well, 82%. Okay, I bring the loop in, but I'm running out of time. This is 1060. I'm just picking up some music. WHFB, Benton Harbor, Michigan. It's about 100 miles away. To the east. So east and west with this antenna works both ways, which is nice. Ten seventy WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. Okay, WNWI, Oklahoma, Illinois. He used this opportunity. Just think about it. Just think about it. He used this opportunity to make the case. Here's 1130 WISM, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He was stepping down because of the mess that would be uh, in, entitled and called. Some breaking news, and that is a big story. And that is the governor of the state of New York, Andrew Cuomo, has resigned. Okay, yeah. Like I told you, every station. This is interesting. This is 1160. W-Y-L-L, Hope for Your Life, Christian Radio, Chicago, Illinois. We may go down and then relaunch our teams looking at that right now. Let's see if we got some music coming in on 1180. We'll find out. Or if they're talking about this. Or why this is significant politically. Water softener, I'm also helping the environment. It sounds like you're saying it, Greg, and yes you are, because of the Culligan High Efficiency Water Softener. Okay, 1180, the squirrel, no squirrel showing up. And that's good for the planet. Now you're saying it. You bet I am, Greg. Don't walk. 
recuerda esto, ¿no? Yo creo que eh, mucha gente, o incluyendo a mí, yeah. este, nosotros le, le... 1200 WRTO, Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, 1180 with the squirrel. I usually have a little squirrel that floats across the screen if there's music playing. <laughs> 1220 WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. WCLO, Janesville, Wisconsin. 1230. Signal strength, you can see a drop coming back up. Nice. <clears throat> uh, 1240 WSBC, Chicago, Illinois. It's a fun thing, that, and you can tell them, hey, I made this, right? It's WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. I think a lot of people have a whole lot That's of the direction. Fun, so what a great business. And it's Actually, be that way, southeast. <laughs> Got music on 1300 WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois. Thirteen ten WIBA Madison Wisconsin, and sometimes adding a passive loop will eliminate some of those harmonics or those uh, tones you hear. Just make this out. Uh, WNTA Rockford Illinois thirteen thirty. Here's 1360 WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. Hopefully you can hear that. Get the volume all the way up. I <laughs> can't hover, but hey, there's music there on WBEL South Beloit. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, Illinois. Um, it's neat to hear some music, you know? Why not? <laughs> and then right next to it is the Gospel Station, 1390 WGRB, Chicago, Illinois. You guys can hear that. The volume's jamming. This definitely requires a passive loop during the day for some of these fainter, fainter stations. WRJN, Racine, Wisconsin. Another music station. A couple of those in your fan. I think those are normally five bucks. So today is, you can reduce the price on one of those to two bucks today. Okay, that's all I need. So WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. Um, shopping radio. Gotta love it. Buy a radio on the radio. I'll be the first. If I hear a radio advertised, I will call them and buy it. <laughs> it hopefully it's cheap. It's not too expensive. But I mean, they sell sets of tires for oh, 150 bucks. So I'm assuming I get a radio for 50 or something. Nine three one fourteen ten is that number to dial. I always try to stray. Really picking that up. This is 1430 WEEF Deerfield, Illinois. Usually I pick that up pretty good. We had some huge rains yesterday, so I don't know if that's affecting some of these transmissions. Could be. Barely picking that up. This is 1440 WROK, Rockford, Illinois. Okay. 
Let's can hear that. It's country music, Iron Country, WGEZ, Beloit, Wisconsin. Man, that volume's all the way up. His talker here. This is WTTN Watertown, Wisconsin on 1580. WCGO Evanston, Illinois. We're almost through. Interesting. Go to station 1600. I think this could be WRPM. Rupan, Wisconsin, if I'm saying that right. <laughs> it's 110 miles away, 5,000 miles. Very cool. I don't pick that up often. Barely pick up traffic advisory radio for Lake County, Illinois. You know, pretty to might be, you know, not as orthodox as some people might hope WSJP, for. Sussex, uh, Wisconsin. Most things are done by the book by uh, uh, every priest I've ever heard of for the most part. Up, uh, something on 1660. What could that be? This could be Kalamazoo, Michigan. WQLR. 137 miles away. Not bad. I don't usually pick these up. Nice. So pretty sensitive at the top of the band. Uh, WOZN. Uh, the Zone. Madison, Wisconsin. Job well done. Let's go to Barbara. Barbara, thank you for your patience. Go right ahead. Here's WBON, Chicago, Illinois, and that should cover it. I uh, was just thinking about this. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn that off. So, yeah, there it is the Sanjin SG108. Um, yeah, it's really a, a fun portable radio to own. It is a premium radio uh, to get the HD. Uh, you got to pay a little, a few bucks for it. Now the black one, I think, was like around sixty-five bucks. I'll have links below if you're interested in picking one of these up. It's definitely worth it at sixty-five bucks. The white model, if you want the white, I really like the white because it's not a fingerprint magnet. It doesn't really show up fingerprints too much. That is key for me. Um, the white model is more money. Um, I saw one renewed for seventy dollars on Amazon, and I think some other seller, not Sanjin of America, not Amazon, some other seller was selling these for 89 bucks. So I don't know where they're getting them, from another store, another place, and then they're reselling them on Amazon is my guess. So you're paying a premium right now until they start mainstreaming these on the normal Amazon. I hope they do. If they do, I'll have links below. Otherwise, you know, get the black one because it's the same radio. Identical firmware, identical everything. So just black instead of white. You know, but uh, you still get the same enjoyment. <laughs> um, FM reception is, is amazing on this radio. Um, if you live in an urban, uh, near an urban area, or in a city, you're going to love all the HD stations you can pick up. Uh, in the rural area, suburban rural, like me, um, I have a hard time. I have to actually go outside to pick up any kind of HD uh, broadcast on FM. Medium wave, um, like I said, my station stopped doing it. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm not missing much there. I used to get 780 in stereo. That was kind of neat. Um, it'd be neat if like maybe 720 did something stereo because they do music. That'd be kind of neat to hear music on FM or AM stereo. I'd like that. All right, well, there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a big like if you did. The new Sanjin SG-108 is a cool radio. I mean, white looks looks pretty cool. Looks nice. I like the contrast. Um, two, if you enjoy Sanjin radios and you like reviews and band scans like this, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos showcasing these products. I will continue to buy Sanjin radios. They are just gorgeous radios. They make them well. They're high quality. I enjoy reviewing them. They always seem to be a winner. We get a dud once in a while. 
I'm trying to think of uh yeah the 36 and the, the sr36 was a dud and i think the i'm trying to think of the other dud there's a couple that weren't perfect but it was only a couple so <laughs> this usually rocked the house three comment below you think about the white version of the hdr14 the sg108 is this something you would pick up uh let me know all right guys take care and we'll see you in my next video